Well, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms coming to you on a, a bit of a rainy, drizzly morning here in West Tennessee. But, hey, that's not going to stop us from getting stuff done. We got, we got a variety of things. Now, of course, some of them are going to depend on what this rain does the rest of the day. But you'll just have to watch because I don't even know what all we're going to get into. But appreciate y'all watching. That thumbs up button is real easy to click. Appreciate you doing that. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Let's get some stuff done. Honey being difficult. She started doing this lately where she's, she wants to come in here and go up there and eat the hay rather than go in her stall. So I got smart rather than swinging this little gate that way and letting her go wherever. Because that's her stall, I can swing it this way. Really her only option is to go in there. But uh, I was just texting my wife. Wife and kids are out of town. Um, that's why we only have two horses. They loaded up. The rain's getting a little heavier now. Here, coming down, but uh, kids were on fall break, so they loaded up Ace and Jenny and took them, and they're doing some cross country schooling. Uh, or Kimber is, I guess, Kaylin too. But Molly stepped on a couple of nails last week, and uh, she is mad. She wants out. Um, thankfully, um, had a buddy of mine, Dr. Brent, came over and they tried to foot to be sure that the nails didn't get into. Um, you know, bone joint, anything other than just soft tissues. Thankfully, that was the case. Um, so we've just been treating her with antibiotics, wrapping the foot. But she wants out. Like, she wants nothing to do with me in that stall. Uh, it looks like she is going to finally eat her breakfast, though. Um, one thing, because we're putting antibiotic in with her feed, uh, that's probably why she's having an aversion to eating it. But not gonna let her out just yet maybe this afternoon so um uh, yeah it, it started raining overnight i've checked the gauge so much it's rain but there's just a bunch on the radar coming this way light stuff our issue is we're gonna get a frost tomorrow night maybe even a freeze and definitely a freeze the night after that so we got to get some hay cut but obviously with the rain that is complicated but yeah this rain is part of the cold front it's going to bring in that that blast of cold air so we're just kind of in a holding pattern as far as that specific task but we got plenty of other stuff to do but yeah this morning i'm being a typical farmer or rancher complaining about the weather no matter what it is because prior to about four days ago hadn't rained in over a month we were complaining about how dry it was how bad we needed rain got well, about three quarters of an inch that day then here we are getting a little more rain and we're just complaining about it again but as you can see so far this morning overnight two tenths quarter inch something like that so um not much um you know it's only eight o'clock if it'd go ahead and quit raining at some point here in the next two three hours and then I kind of I don't know if the sun's gonna shine, even in the best case scenario. Then let that that grass you know dry off for a couple of hours, and then get it mowed this afternoon. We could we could handle that scenario. That wouldn't be too big of a deal. Get the bulls and this cow fed, which if you watched our last video, you saw where we. Hey now, don't you knock me over? Come on, boys. I'm not gonna be, be polite, let the lady in here. I should definitely get her breakfast as well. But if you watched that last video, you saw where they had gotten over with the cows and then me getting them separated back, she came with them, which was just said fine. Um, also, if you watched the last video, you're probably like, Bobby Lee, are you still wearing the same clothes? Which that was just yesterday. And yes, I wore this shirt for a couple hours yesterday morning before it got too hot. But it didn't really get dirty, so I put it back on. And of course, obviously, the reason I'm still wearing it is because, uh, yeah, it might be a rainy morning. This might be the most beautiful morning that I've woken up to in quite a long time as a Tennessee. And a uh, slightly big, slightly entertaining football game last night that uh, went the way of the good guys. So um, yeah, there, there's a fair chance I will be wearing orange every day for the foreseeable future. Rain's kind of started to pick up again as we pull up here to the gate, but 
stop and got a steak, egg, and cheese sandwich hitting the spot. Um, I may or may not have cracked open a bottle of bourbon that I bought a long time ago and put away in the cabinet and specifically said I was not going to open it up until we beat Alabama. So, yeah. Slept in just a little bit this morning and uh, didn't, didn't cook breakfast, but uh, good morning to sleep in just a bit with the rain. It's starting to come on down now, so yeah, not, not sure what all we're going to get into today. Rain a bit more right here. We're it's like just a little over a half inch already. And it hadn't rained that much since we left home, so thought it might have rained more this direction. I've got an app on my phone that uh, you know you can you know put in different locations and it'll tell you how much it's rained. And when I checked it this morning, actually before I even rolled out of the bed, it indicated that it rained just a little more here. Um, so sometimes those things are fairly accurate. But we're only, I need, to, I need to measure it sometime as the crow flies. We're only like maybe three miles from the house. Uh, but yeah, just the way these systems roll through, you can get twice as much rain just a few miles away. Just look at all the acorns on the ground raining down off these white oaks. Like my goodness. Y'all probably can't hear them, but Lord. I might need to put on a hard hat if I stand here very long. Enough of them hit you, you might get concussed. But yeah, with this weather, <clears throat> like I say, it's just, we hadn't had any wind or rain or anything. And I guess it's good all of a sudden. Of course, it's the right time of year. They are raining down, so. Might catch a deer in here feeding one morning as we're coming, coming back to check cows. My crew all got out. Mm. I'm sure they'll stay nice and clean and dry. Yeah, right. But we'll count and see that everybody's here. They're, I think they're worried about me this morning. It's almost nine o'clock now. They're wondering why, why I'm late. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what to make this rain. So it's not raining hard, but it's also not, doesn't look like it's quitting anytime soon. So, but, and yeah, the craziness of this weather. So, tomorrow, today's Sunday. Tomorrow night it's getting down to 30. 27 on Tuesday, I think, mid-30s on Wednesday. You go to next weekend, next Sunday, the low is 58, the low. I th and I think two, this Tuesday, the high is 50. So it's just our weather. I mean, it's just like this. But uh, yeah, so but we're all gonna get a freeze. That's pretty apparent. So again, back to really wanna get some hay cut this afternoon. All right, y'all. It's hard to count y'all when y'all are all bunched up like this. So I've counted them about a dozen times and there's only 33 here. Uh, I don't know, do any of y'all that, that have cows or anything else where you're counting? You're just like, I know there's supposed to be more, you just keep counting over and over even though you keep, yeah. So there's four somewhere else. Um, I don't know, hopefully somewhere in the pasture, of course. But with all those acorns that are raining down, they will get in the woods and, and kind of forage for them. In fact, a couple of them are just right over here underneath one of these oaks we were pulling up, nosing around. Um, so I don't know, we could have a few somewhere in the woods underneath one of them trees dropping it like that. Um, I don't know. I'd like to put eyes on those others. Heck, I drove back here in the rain and the mud so I could check everybody to go home without confirming everyone's accounted for. Oh, seems a little bit silly. What do you think, brown dog? Mineral feeder full? Wouldn't say it's full, but oh yeah. We're in good shape though. All right, here comes three which okay there's four all right um looks like that's all the steers or not it's not all the steers se seven total steers but all the ones that were not coming up to feed with steers so okay mission accomplished hey i don't know if i have any room for wet dogs 
Oh, to be a puppy. Life is grand. Just think about it, Archie. Just think about it, Archie. Hey, Archie. Archie man. Archie man. Archie man. Doing some more herd checks for my dad and my uncle. Bringing these ladies and gentlemen, I guess I should say, um, some, some cubes. Feeding them out there on kind of a bare spot. Seeing what, who all we can get. But yeah, they're, to have not been fed very often, they're, they're pretty trainable. They're starting to associate me with feed. So, yeah, some of you may think it's crazy that we just dump it on the ground like this, but um, yeah, if those cubes, they'll clean this up pretty dang good. We're gonna ride, we need to ride them back to the back part of this place because this is not all the cows. So we'll check. We'll stop back here on our way back out and show you just, just how little waste there actually is. But they got some good looking calves out here. Um, we just need to get them, get them trained, get them caught here sometime over the next month or so. Okay, so back here getting some of the last of theirs, some range cubes. Um, it's pretty back here. I like these hills. Um, there's, it's easy to see why. You know, my dad and uncle who have, again, shifted primarily to row crop, still have some cows because they've got a farm like this. Uh, these hills and ridges, just like our places, that really aren't suitable for row cropping. Um, here in West Tennessee, it's about the only place you see cows, um, for the most part, is on um, a little bit of rougher hill ground and whatnot that we have. But anyway, Looking at the radar, I mean, obviously you can still see very overcast looking back to the north and then even to the west, but, but clear to the, the south pretty well. Looks like it might be about done. I don't know. Um, it's just now 10 o'clock. Probably can get another hour or two to make sure. I give this grass a little chance to, to dry off a little bit. And we're gonna see if we can get some hay cut. These cows, like it's not a coincidence she's standing under a white oak. Um, imagine acorns are dropping here just like they are down the road on our place. But yeah, you can see them there all over the ground, which I always thought it was kind of interesting. You know, acorns obviously a, a, a favorite food of, of deer, you know, another ruminant, but um, they can actually um, pose a toxicity risk to cattle um not a not a fatal toxicity just irritating to the gi tract so um kind of interesting that you know two species that are i mean they're not super closely related but they're gi tracts you know they're both ruminants and so yeah where it's a staple of one's diet and cows will eat them they like them but they're not uh not so easy on the digestive tract but yeah those few had been in here See a lot of empty caps where they were standing around. A lot of acorns still. So, anyway, little side note as we head back towards headquarters. Nice looking couple of fall calves there. Another nice little calf. That mother is not too crazy about us being in close proximity, so we'll leave them alone. Now we'll check back in where we fed that first little spot of cubes and, uh, yeah, I am not, it was right here. <laughs> so, yeah, great example of, I mean, literally, I think it was, I think I'm literally standing right where they were. But there is absolutely zero, um, ah, you can see, here's where we fed them. Like, you have to look super close, you can see, like, tiny crumbs. So, yeah, they, they, they pretty much don't waste any of that, um, any of that feed. And, I, and I've seen some people that'll feed even just regular, you know, cattle feed, not even necessarily the cubes on the ground like this, and there'll be very little waste. But anyway, got two or three here that are demanding that I feed them some more. They know what a feed sack is, that's for sure. Sorry, girls, those are empty. I'll have to catch you next time. Okay, so I made a bad call. It was just wishful thinking on the rain being over with, but 
Now looking at the radar, it does look like you can kind of see a clearing line back off over there in the distance that we're just oh, within the next 10, 15 minutes away from truly the rain being over with. And so it's almost 11 a.m. now. We'll give it a little while to hopefully dry off a bit. Probably not much. I don't know. We'll try to get something done this afternoon. What do y'all think? Well, the rain has moved out. So, no excuse for us not to get on the tractor and do some mowing. Um, it's going to be just a little wet, but we only got, I mean, less than three tenths, you know, quarter, between a quarter and three tenths of an inch. This first for a little small field. You can see we got a fair amount of Johnson grass in here. You know, it's, it's not going to amount to a whole lot. Um, but should be a few rolls of hay and uh i don't know we'll see and uh yeah get out here in all that sod it's not shouldn't be too too sticky too muddy anything like that getting close to getting done there's there's five different little patches on this farm that we cut Gosh, I don't even know how big the biggest one is. Not very much. Uh, it's only like four, 10 or 12 acres total. But um, the sun is trying to poke out here and there. So I don't know that today's Sunday. I may have said that already. Uh, I'm off again on Wednesday. So I get, what, 72 hours to dry potentially. I think the sun is supposed to shine you know, all week. But days are obviously getting shorter. It's going to be cool. So we'll just have to see if it, if it'll bail on Wednesday or not. If it won't, I think we can bail it next weekend because it'll be more than dry enough by then. Uh, and again, there's just pretty much no rain in the forecast uh, after that we had this morning. But yeah, you can see this is a um, forest. Johnson grass and whatnot. So I don't know. I'm really at a little bit of a loss of how many bales to even predict. We, uh, I don't remember how many I had last time on all this. Plus, we lost probably an acre or so. Um, as landowners getting ready to build a, a house, actually. You know, so, I mean, not, not a big chunk of ground, but a little bit less than, than we have been. So, I don't know if it makes eight or ten rolls total. Might be worth it. Um, heck, anything's gonna be worth it. As short as we feel like hay might be this year, but I don't know. Get this last little bit wrapped up. Yeah, there's the sun. I, I, I haven't put sunglasses on it occasionally. Looks like the family. How long y'all been home? You just get home? You just now get home? Good deal. Well, good deal, son. That's good timing. We got done uh, just as they got home. So I actually do have one more. A little light. Oh, you heard me coming? What? Well, it's three or four acres there in town, a little patch of hay. Um, but I think I'm going to actually mow that tomorrow. Um, this may sound a little bit redneck, but it's, a, it's right across the road from our office. And so I'll just drive the tractor to work in the morning and run out there on my lunch break. I'll have just enough time to do that. Um, so whatever, I, I, I embrace the redneck um, side of myself. So, but uh, yeah, we're probably gonna wrap it up this video. We've been mowing hay and checking cows and doing everything else. But um, yeah, check back next video. I imagine we're gonna be bailing some hay. Uh, yeah, who knows what else, something else will come up, I'm sure. But um, if that's the end of the video, what are you gonna say? Eat beef and God bless. Eat beef and God bless, y'all have a good one. Oh, and go Vols. Say go Vols. Go Vols. Go Big Orange. Go Big Orange. That's right.